No, I said it's the biggest featherweight fight since Connor and Aldo. Um, because till then it was just Jose Aldo reigning over everything. And although you knew Aldo was going to fight someone, it didn't bring much attention until Connor challenged him. And then that fight was huge. And then since then, there hasn't really been too much hype besides Max beating um, Aldo. Then, then it, re, you know, it regained its thing. And now this is, to date, the biggest featherweight fight since, since that day. Have you thought about the perfect last two fights after this? I beat Stipe Miocic. It would be nice to go and see. This all kind of depends on the UFC. And uh, Alexander Gustafson may, may hate to hear this, but uh, <laughs> it's too bad, Alex. <laughs> I would like to at some point fight Jones again and fight Brock Lesnar. You know, those are the two ideal end fights, you know, but things don't always work out perfect. But I feel like that would be perfect. So there are going to be a few guys that are going to be pissed off about it, but. Oh, well. They can enjoy fighting each other. Which one's first? Well, I defended the light heavyweight title in January. Yep. So they usually give you quite a bit of time before they take it from you. I feel like it would be unjust to uh, take the light heavyweight title from me. So if Lesnar's back first, well, hey, it's a race, right? John and, John and Brock are racing to see who gets back from their suspension first. And then they can fight me. Whoever goes before the parole board and hits like a pass, who gets to fight first? <laughs> These are just the two biggest fights that I could possibly have and nothing more. The Jones fight, that, that story writes itself. Brock Lesnar is just a chance to fight a guy that is a massive name. A guy that I've actually competed with since 1997 it was the first time I saw Brock Lesnar and competed in the same event with him. So it would be a good, good fight to, to go out with. So DC, we all know, lost twice to uh, John Jones. Second time, lost pretty badly. Yeah. Hey, knockout. Of course, we all saw, you know, a bit of emotion afterwards from DC. Um, what are your thoughts, Lewis? What are your thoughts? I mean, because, all right, let's be honest. DC's the champ. I made a joke a while ago, DC stands for default champ. But that's not fair. He did test positive for steroids. Yes. You know, so... So, you know, if you test positive for steroids, you're out of the equation. You are. But on the history books, and when, as far as everyone knows, when they look, we see two wins from John Jones over DC. But he's out at the moment. He's suspended. Now he's going to fight Stipe Miocic. If he beats Stipe Miocic, you know, I think there's definite, you know, grounds for him being possibly the greatest of all time. But the thing is, and this is why Jones tweets, He's beaten him twice. So he said, hold on a minute. If you think you're the greatest of all time, I beat you twice. I think if DC goes out there and beats Stipe Miocic, then for sure. John Jones is out of the equation right now. I'd say that there's a definite argument for him being the greatest of all time, if not the greatest of all time. I mean, he's pretty much cleared out the light heavyweight division, as we know, apart from Jones. And then to go up and beat Stipe Miocic, who's an incredibly, the most dominant heavyweight champ the UFC has ever had. For him to do that, that would be absolutely insane. Not to mention the fact that Steve is huge. He knocks out all of his opponents. Mm -hmm. uh, and he just got passed uh, by, uh, what's his name, Francis Ngannou, who everyone was, you know, kind of, you know, terrified of. So yeah. if, if DC can do that, if he can beat him, for sure. Now, of course, there's always going to be that John Jones thing. Uh, you talked about, you know, DC shouldn't be saying I'm the greatest of all time and this and that. And you're right, he shouldn't. It's kind of like, and before you jump on that word, I'm going to explain in a minute why he can. But it's like someone was asking me, a journalist, you know, do you think you'll be in the Hall of Fame? I said, that's not for me to say. I'm certainly not going to campaign for it. You know, if that's down to the UFC and whoever makes those decisions, if you want to do that, fantastic. But you'll never hear me begging to be put in the Hall of Fame. Just like DC shouldn't be saying, uh, I'll be the greatest of all time. But to be fair, he's not. That is um, 
interviewers asking questions. Yeah. So therefore, he has to answer them. I know for a fact, we had him on UFC Tonight recently, and we asked him, you think you'll be the greatest of all time after this fight? So when people are asking that question, of course he's, he's going to answer it. 